Greetings everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we've carved out a moment to discuss something very significant. We're stepping outside our usual to focus on a matter of great importance. It's not just about physical strength, but a mental one. This particular discussion pertains to self-defense, but not in the traditional sense. We're talking about a vital aspect of self-protection, something which is often overlooked but indispensable in today's world. We are diving deep into understanding the dark psychological tactics used to ensnare women. Today, we're delving into a crucial topic, self-defense against dark psychological tactics used to mesmerize women's minds. Gaslighting, a manipulative tactic, strives to make individuals question their reality. It's a devious method used to cause self-doubt. This strategy involves a constant critique of a person's memory, creating uncertainty and fostering feelings of insanity. These actions have a further aim, eroding the individual's confidence, leaving them unsure and vulnerable. It's a power play, a mind game that's difficult to spot. To combat gaslighting, trust your gut feelings, maintain an evidence record, and don't hesitate to seek help from reliable friends or professionals. Emotional manipulation is a strategy that involves exploiting emotions for control. The manipulator can skillfully use a variety of tactics that could often be disguised under the cover of concern or care. Tactics such as guilt tripping, where they make you feel guilty for actions that aren't really your fault. Or playing the victim card, where they present themselves as the innocent party to gain sympathy. They can also use intense emotional displays, like crying or anger, to divert attention or gain sympathy. It's crucial to establish emotional boundaries, understand their tactics, and communicate openly. Acknowledge but don't feed their need for control. Protect yourself by constantly being aware of these manipulative behaviors. Nagging is the use of subtle insults or backhanded compliments to undermine a person's self-assurance. It's a manipulative strategy, carefully designed to make the recipient question their own self-worth. Imagine a person insidiously dropping small, seemingly innocent comments, each subtly chipping away at your confidence. These remarks, though cloaked in niceties, are targeted to breed insecurity and self-doubt. It's essential to be aware of such techniques, recognize negging, prioritize self-love and surround yourself with positive influences to defend against it. Love bombing is overwhelming someone with affection to gain control. It's essentially a manipulative tactic, often used by individuals with narcissistic tendencies, where they smother their partners with excessive praise, gifts and attention. This is aimed to make the other person emotionally dependent on them. In order to protect yourself, it's crucial to maintain a slow pace in the relationship, establish clear boundaries, and to ensure compatibility and shared values before getting excessively involved or emotionally invested. Take things slow, set boundaries, and ensure compatibility before getting too involved to protect yourself. Isolation involves cutting off a person from their support system. It represents a strategy where one is separated from their roots, from the people they hold close. This can often entail the discouragement of relationships with friends and family, a tactic frequently witnessed. This tactic manipulates the emotional stability of a person, pushing them into a corner where they lack their usual resources to cope or fight. It's crucial to maintain connections with loved ones. Be aware and vigilant of situations that seem to promote seclusion, be it voluntary or enforced. Prioritize the cultivation and maintenance of a robust, healthy support network. This is a key defense against the damaging effects of isolation. Understanding these dark psychological tactics is the first step to defending oneself. We need to remember that knowledge is our most robust defense. Always be on guard, tuning into your instincts. The utmost priority should be your mental and emotional health. This video aims to educate and empower. And if it did, please like, share and subscribe. We're forming a community of knowledge and resilience. We, your participation, and believe in the collective strength of informed individuals. Until next time, stay safe and take care. Now that we've covered the main tactics, let's delve deeper into these strategies. Each of these tactics can take many forms and can be difficult to detect. They can be subtle or overt and may be masked as concern or love. We've heard stories from many of you about your personal experiences with these tactics. It's crucial to know that you're not alone in this. There are numerous resources available for help, including local and online support groups, therapy, and hotlines. Remember, reaching out for help when you need it is a sign of strength, not weakness. 
In the description below, we've included a list of resources that you can turn to. Stay informed, stay strong and remember, you're not alone in this journey.